Exciting news has emerged that RDNA 3 is set to shake up the entry-level desktop market, possibly rivaling the popular RTX 3050. A renowned GPU leaker on X has revealed that AMD is developing two new entry-level GPUs based on the Navi 33 die. In today's video, we'll dive into what these new entry-level RDNA 3 GPUs are, and we are starting right now. Exciting news for budget gamers, RDNA 3 is finally set to enter the entry-level desktop market to challenge the likes of the RTX 3050. A reputable GPU leaker on X has reported that AMD is gearing up to release two new entry-level GPUs, the RX 7400 and RX 7300, both based on the Navi 33 die. These new GPUs promise to bring high performance and competitive pricing, making them a thrilling addition to the market. So let's dive into what these new RDNA 3 GPUs have in store for us. The specs haven't been shared yet, but the mention of Navi 33 offers some clues about these GPUs configurations. Navi 33 is the smallest and least powerful RDNA 3 GPU die AMD currently produces. Unlike other RDNA 3 dies, it uses a monolithic design rather than chiplets. Currently the RX 7600 and RX 7600 XT, which have 2048 shader cores and a 128 bit memory face, are the only desktop GPUs using Navi 33, so we can expect expect the RX 7400 to be a slower variant of the RX 7600 and the RX 7300 an even more scaled down version. While the RX 7400 might have somewhere between 1024 to 2000 shader cores, the RX 7300 could be configured to compete with the GT 1030, possibly featuring a 64 bit memory interface and a thousand cores or less. However, these core numbers should be taken with a grain of salt until official details are released as they are just pure speculation on my part. No matter how AMD decides to spec the RX 7400 and RX 7300, these new GPUs could finally bring an RDNA 3 option to the entry level market. This is great news for consumers who have long awaited a successor to the RX 6500 XT, a card infamous for its poor performance due to AMD's decision to use mobile RDNA 2 dies during the pandemic. The RX 7400 is expected to surpass the RX 6500 XT, which even struggles against Nvidia's 5 year old GTX 1650. What are your thoughts on these rumored RX 7400 and RX 7300 GPUs? Do you think they will outperform the RX 6500 XT? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, leaks, and rumors, then subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.